today's video we're going to show you how to use the shotgun split close in Madden NFL 16. Uh, this is a formation I've been working with and I can't wait to break this down for you. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I make Madden 16 videos, uh, post them on the internet. And what I want to do today, before we get into this tip, uh, is I want to talk about a new series I want to start doing on my YouTube channel. And that is uh, a question and answer series. And what this question and answer series is basically going to do is, what I'm going to do is every week, uh, I'm going to have you submit your questions uh, to my Twitter account. Uh, if you guys are not following me on Twitter, I would recommend doing so because it's the best way to communicate with me. Um, as far as how it relates to Madden 16 material, um, we'll follow each other on Twitter. You can message me, ask me your questions. Um, but what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to take my Twitter questions, every question that I get on Twitter, and, and simply uh, post a video and answer them. And, and I really I think this will be a good opportunity uh, for, to me, for me to engage with you guys and, and, and kind of give me an opportunity to spend time and talk with you guys um, in an otherwise hectic uh, environment that I go into. Um, we're going to try to shoot to do this video on Saturdays, um, but what we're going to do is we'll like, well, that way like I'll take all the questions and then on Friday and then I'll take the questions and answer them on Saturday morning uh, and then post the video up and the video will be up on Saturday afternoon so all the questions should be submitted um, Friday evening at midnight and then I'll record the video and post it up for you Saturday afternoon and that's what we're gonna do so I really think that it'll be a great opportunity for you guys if you have questions related to Men 16 you can ask me those questions um, online and my Twitter handle will be in the description um, for those of you who don't take time to read the description it's at Men Tips 365 so just a good opportunity and again if we have one question then I'll break down one question if we have two questions I'll break down two questions it doesn't really matter to me how many questions I have I'm just gonna spend time talking about them with you okay now uh, today it brings me to my next part of the video is I want to break down this shotgun split close for you uh, this is something I've been using in mutt and uh, I really like this uh, play uh, from the gun split close and um, there's a couple of plays you can use but this one specifically I really like the halfback wheel uh, and the reason I like the halfback wheel is I like this one specific route and it's a route that I've never really paid attention to uh, but for some reason I started using the halfback wheel and I really like this I've been working in Indianapolis uh, so that's the playbook we are in but here's why I like the halfback wheel flat zones in Madden this year are kinda of finicky in the way they play and we're gonna show you this Watch what happens. Um, the only adjustment I make on this play is I put Williams on a hitch pattern. Witten's route is going to flat out, and you can pass it, and you see how you can pass that to the right. Okay. Now there, uh, Woodson jumped it with his great zone coverage. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have a, a two-man read, and basically, if you throw it at the snap, you see he's going to kind of post him up and catch that. Now that may not seem like a big deal to you guys, but it's a really big deal because it means he's not going to pick it. It means I can easily fit that ball in consistently uh, for quick two or three yards. Now while this two to three yard gain is really not the point of the video, what is uh, what, what I want to talk about is that this is something you can use. Um, you know, this is kind of just a quick pass. You can just get the ball in your hands, throw it hot, and, and, and then, you know, if he drops it, he drops it. But again, you're not going to get intercepted on it. Now, I want to show you the new coverage feature, the underneath coverage. And we'll show you that now and how it plays. And you see it still doesn't change the fact that this route, when it cuts to the outside, for whatever reason, um, it just it, it stays clear. It, and, it, and for a guy like Jason Witten out of, for Dallas, uh, it's a really good route for him. Uh, another thing that we could check into is, is maybe motioning Witten and making a little trips bunch to the right. And what you're going to see here is that it still does the same thing. It doesn't get intercepted for whatever reason. Now I want to switch the play to a cover two, um, just a standard cover two. And I want to show you what the flat zone does in that sense. In this sense, in the cover two, you see it still. I'm able to fit that in. I'm able to fit that pass in uh, for a quick gain. We'll show you now with underneath coverage as well. Um, we'll show you underneath. And you'll see again, able to fit this route in. Maybe get maybe tackled for two yards, but again, I can fit this route in with consistency. Okay? And so what that means is that they're going to have to use her this route in zone. Um, now what this is going to enable us to do uh, more so than anything, is to work with this to create a really phenomenal offense from the shotgun split close. This little, I just really like the fact that they don't pick this ball. 
um, whether you underneath covered it or not. Now I want to show you in man. So cover two man. And what's going to happen now is you're going to see the linebacker will be manned up on Witten. I mean, this is just traditional man coverage. And when he goes to cuts to the outside, you see you're going to be able to deliver the ball. And they, they don't – it's it's a man beating route. Um, you see man coverage doesn't stop it. Um, and we'll show this one more time. But this is just two man under. I mean, this is America's defense. And you see when he cuts to the outside, you could pass lead that with the bullet pass lead to the outside. And he does not get intercepted. Um, what's also interesting to note – is well man align now and we'll press kind of some of the main features of man coverage and what you'll see is a still is able to get open against man in this play so this route becomes a really really primary route to the offense um, one other thing I just want to show you when I move Lofton out here to maybe maybe this is something that they may do watch what I can do now you see, still, when he breaks, they just don't guard it well. Um, when he breaks, when he cuts, um, this is a really good route. And the reason it's, there's a couple reasons it's so good, but one of them is that the fact that you can hit the flats with pretty good reliability um, from this play. I mean, this is really, really good. Okay? Now, what we're going to do off of this is going to make this even better. Um, this route to Joseph Randall uh, for a moment, this is not the same type uh, of route you're going to notice that it's not the same route as Witten's on. And so when it gets man, you're going to see that this isn't always going to get that same separation. You'll see, we'll wait till them to cut, but they can, you get that nice SWAT animation, and you're not really able to deliver the pass. Okay? But, our man read is going to be Jason Witten. You see this nice cut to the outside, deliver the football, let the computer turn him upfield, and then go get some yardage. The cool part also is that in zone situations, you're going to be able to hit that. But if they cover the flat, you can put that hitch route out there. And Williams now becomes a really good option for a hitch pattern against the cover three. Here, Williams is going to sit and just a quick five to six yards against the cover three gives you a really nice completion, uh, in my opinion. Another thing you could potentially do with this play is put Williams on an in route and motion him in. And he's still going to have that same break. Uh, as if he was on a hitch pattern. But what he's also going to do now is he's going to suck the defense down and then you're going to be able to deliver this post right over the top of the defense, as you see. So some really good things you can do with this pattern, but it all revolves around the fact that this route to Witten is very difficult to stop in zone. They're going to have to uh, commit to stopping this p pattern uh, in zone, and I think it's really important to note. Uh, one other thing I like to do sometimes with this play, and we'll just c close with this. I like to take Joseph Randall, put him on a streak, and I'm going to motion him to the right. What you're going to see is he's going to come into this trips bunch, as you see. The next step is to take Williams and put him on a on a hitch route. What this is going to do now is it's going to really open the open the passing lanes uh, for Cole Beasley, um, as you see there. And I guess that wasn't the best example. And we'll just show you, but it's just a pass lead to the right. You got to the problem with it this year, the corner routes. And see, I don't know for some reason I don't have as much success as other people do, but for some reason, in cover three, what you want to do with this is pass lead to the outside. But you've got to click on and kind of undercut it. Um, and for me, that's not really something I want to mess with. Um, and so I kind of don't really throw that route against zone. Um, we'll show you it here against cover two. So cover two, and this is really, it's really primary to beat. And you see you get a nicer void in the cover two. And I think that's really the way it's supposed to work. I mean, against the cover three, you have your little spot dig or your little uh, hitch pattern. Against the cover two, you're going to see what you're going to have is Cole Beasley's route to the outside. If you wait a little bit, you're going to be able to really ni have a nice position to hit him uh, against the zone. So those are a couple things I just wanted to uh, draw your attention to from this formation. Um, again, another thing you could do is, is always put Randall, kind of leave him on this and run him on a little slant, little straight slant across the middle. Um, but there's always something we can do. But again, I just really, really think that this route to Jason Witten, uh, it might be one of the best routes in Madden 16 um, because it just doesn't get beat. There's nothing they can do um, with the way this works. They have to user guard it. 
and it forces your hand it forces their hand um, in a in a play where this is primarily just a flat route a simple flat pattern what you're seeing is that then if they start using that we're able to go up top to Dez with a one-on-one -on -one over the middle so this is just some really good uh, in my opinion some really good offense uh, of plays that we can utilize uh, to really take advantage of the defense this year I think the split close I think this is kind of the secret to it I think this is the play that you want to kind of you, you want to kind of live on this year um, and then obviously we can do some different things like this and run PAFL slide and and run these uh, different slant patterns and all of that but primarily what I want to get at more than anything is that this flat pattern to Jason Witten uh, is just really really good they may deflect it but I've never been intercepted on this route um, and I don't know that I'll ever will be uh, it's just one of those plays where you can always rely on it. Um, you know, you don't want to use it all the time, but uh, it is something that's pretty nice. And then, of course, you have this other check to the flat with Joseph Randall. The cool part about this play is that the route to Des Bryant allows Randall some space. So, just wanted to kind of give you a tip here. I mainly wanted to talk about the question and answer sessions that I'm going to start doing. Um, and I, I think that's the most important. But I did want to go ahead and give a little sneak preview into some stuff we're working on out of Indianapolis right now. Um, this slot curl, the cool part about this play also, we'll just talk talk for a minute. Um, the cool part about this play is this route to Williams. What you want to do is motion him to the outside. And you're going to see that he's going to get unbumpable. And he's going to be a nice... Uh, option for you getting intercepted. I don't know. I've never even ran the play. <laughs> I was just going to add living. Um, but no, the, the route to Bryant is really the route I wanted to show you. You're going to see against man. Pass like that to the outside. Easy man beater. Easy man beater. Um, and then we want to work zone beating concepts on the backside. So uh, we have pretty good zone beating concepts already. Uh, what I would do with this play is bring Witten and put him on a slant pattern. And then now you have a pretty pretty good option and then if the, everything breaks down you can always run with Romo so a nice little midi th uh, segment here on the split close but more on this later there's more to it than this but I just wanted to get this out and show you but anyways guys thanks for your time thanks for watching really appreciate it remember tweet me check the description for my twitter link and uh, t tweet me your questions